So a few weeks ago, I was in Park City, Utah for a meeting with my Plant Plus Mastermind. And we always do two days of meetings and then a fun day. And so the reason I scheduled it in Park City is because we could go skiing. They've got amazing skiing there. So instead of going to Southern California or Phoenix or someplace warm, we went to the mountains to go skiing. So we had a great time. And on fun day, I was out there skiing with a whole bunch of you know the folks in my Plat Plus group. And a bunch of them don't do much skiing at all. So we were at lunch and one of them, we were skiing at Deer Valley. And in Park City, there's two main ski areas. There's uh, the Park City area, actually there's three. There's Park City, there's Canyons, and there's Deer Valley. And we actually happened to be at Deer Valley. So a couple of them, while we're sitting around at lunch, they said, well, which is better, Deer Valley or Park City? And I said, well, you know, it's not really a matter of better. They're both amazing world-class resorts. They're, they got, both have great skiing, but they really go after different markets. Deer Valley is sort of going after the one percenters. It's like you drive up and someone meets you at your car and they carry your skis for you. You know, that doesn't happen at most ski areas. And you go to lunch and they serve you, they use real dishes and real silverware and people are clearing your plates for you. And it's, it's just, it's very luxurious. The grooming there is amazing and they don't allow any snowboarders. It's skiers only. And they tend to get an older, more well-heeled clientele. Over at Park City, it's a different game. It's, even though they're only a few miles apart, Park City is all about terrain parks. And they're all about having huge amounts of terrain. And there's a very different feel. And so I was explaining this to them. And I said, here, let me, give you a po let, let me make a point here for you. There was an ad that ran last winter, and it was for Snowbird, which is another resort, which is actually in the Park City area. It's just not very far away at all. And Snowbird is all about going for the expert skier. So they ran this ad, and the ad actually went a little bit viral. And the ad, it's just, it's a magazine spread, two pages. It shows a skier going through a bunch of deep powder and this beautiful mountain view. And then the only text on the page was they put up a review that someone had left for him. It was, I'm actually going to read this review. It was a one-star review. And the, re, it's, the review said, too advanced. I've heard Snowbird is a tough mountain, but this is ridiculous. It felt like every trail was a steep chute or littered with tree wells. How is anyone supposed to ride in that? Not fun. Signed, Greg from Los Angeles, California. And so th this, is, I mean, this is awesome that they highlighted this one-star ad. And in fact, as soon as it came out, I got texts from, two different, well, from my son and from a friend sent an image of this ad to me because they thought it was so awesome because they were expert skiers. And this spoke directly to them. You know, they didn't want to be out there in beginner terrain and they didn't want to be out there with beginner skiers. So they took a what, it's just awesome, this beautiful ad. They, 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 they highlighted a one-star review that said, this is too hard. And that ad, that ad is like a clarion call to their perfect market, to the expert skier. Now, to take it a step further, I live in Durango, and just 50 miles away, there's this little tiny resort in Silverton. And this resort, it's completely the opposite of these big fancy resorts. It's got one chairlift. It's got no base area. I don't think it has any food at all that's available. There's no amenities at all. And it's basically one old rickety chair that takes you way up into the mountains. And then you go down. It's like mountaineering. It's, it's, it's beyond advanced. It's beyond expert. In fact, their logo for Silverton Mountain, their logo is a skier falling down a cliff. Not skiing a cliff, but falling, like upside down, falling down a cliff. Their logo is, and pardon the expression, but their, their logo is just simply two words. It's got balls. They go after the most, the most advanced, the most extreme, but also the skier is not really looking for that big resort experience. They're looking for someone who's looking more for that mountaineering experience. So here's three, four examples of different ski areas going after different niches. And it works the same way in our business. We have to go after niches, but it's not just niches. It's, it's all about attracting the people you want to attract. And a big part of that is, frankly, repelling the people that you don't want.
So Silverton Mountain, they don't want someone showing up expecting to, to, to carry their skis from their car to the lift. They're not looking for someone that wants a high speed lift. They're not looking for someone that wants groomed trails. They're looking for someone that's comfortable jumping off of cliffs. You know, that they might be skiing and they might just come up on a cliff and have to jump a 12 or 14 or 20 foot cliff as part of their run. Snowbird, they aren't looking for someone who just expects everything to be easy and groomed and beautiful. They're looking for the person who's looking for the steeps. And so you wanna get clear on who you're going after. You wanna get clear in your niche and you wanna get clear on who you wanna attract and also who you wanna repel. And once you start doing that, your marketing gets a lot easier and your life gets a lot more pleasant because you're gonna be working with the people that you wanna work with. This is something I've said in past videos. You think about who do you wanna be a hero to? That's what I think about. Who do I wanna be a hero, a hero to? And those are the clients that I wanna attract. So I'm Jeff Walker, wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment, or give me some kind of reaction, and let's go get them this week.